What's up, you guys? And good morning. Um, I'm your host, Devin from DHR Two Productions. So, I want to talk to you all about Christianity and why it's cool to let people give Jesus Christ a try. Um, there's there's a reason why I wanted to talk to you guys because this past weekend, um, I just took my grandmother out on her birthday, and I recently just celebrated my parents anniversary on the same day and and we did it in the most beautiful day on God's day uh, started from church good service a wonderful Sunday school lessons and we basically went out on a good day we left on a good day and that was probably one of the best things that ever happened you know when we do stuff as a family you know we're gonna have a good time you know it's all about just having fun and having that positive mindset you know and if you do that you know the more happiness will come your way and getting back on track there's a reason why you know people need to give Jesus Christ a try you know just give yourself a chance to know the Lord before you say or do anything that might slip out the wrong way and it's basically about encouraging people to give God a try. You know, explaining to them what who Jesus Christ is, what he did for people, and why he sacrificed this and that for you. And not a lot of people read the Bible, and I know I don't, I can admit that, but I know enough about what Jesus Christ has done for me and why he's continuing to bless me every single day. And without that, I really don't think you're gonna be successful. And my uncle said the best, count your blessings every day. Because if you don't count your blessings, how are you gonna be, you know, blessed? <laughs> I guess that's how they said, but that's just the way I should go. But um, there's certain ways to encourage some people to trust in the Lord and, you know, let them get to know him their way instead of how you want them to get to know him. And instead of just like, you know, shoving it down their throats and forcing them to go to church and, and you know, praising the Lord and stuff. That's probably not the best way to, you know, let people know God. You know, you have to give them a chance to know him. Like... You know, it'll come naturally. It doesn't come overnight, you know. And um, and the reason why I'm talking to you guys about this is because there's not a whole lot of Christians out there that don't know Jesus like that. And this is why we need to, you know, talk to them and encourage them to get to know God and read the Bible and go to Sunday school and praising Him and all that. And when you do stuff like this, I think that they're gonna end up, end up becoming Christians themselves. But on, you know what I'm saying, their way of getting to know him though. And my apologies, uh, the best advice I could give to the people out there who are not Christians, who don't believe in God, is just give them a try. You know, you never know, you might be surprised for what the outcome is gonna be once you get to know the Lord yourself you're gonna you know have a positive mindset you're gonna uh, meet some good people you're gonna get to know them without judging them you're gonna you know love them pray for them and just be their friend help them the best way you can and that's the way life goes that's what the Lord would, would have wanted for you and just continue to do God's work you know what I'm saying it doesn't matter what it is just do what you gotta do to do it in his honor and his glory you know what I'm saying God's will so uh, yeah that's my video on uh, why I think you should give God a try you know and I know sometimes it can be difficult to not understand the Lord but if you just take the time to believe in yourself to give Jesus Christ a try I believe that chances are things will come your way when it comes to just being blessed and just
don't give up. You know what I'm saying? There's still time for you to get to know God. And uh, yeah, um, this is the HR2 Productions, and uh, yeah, y'all have a blast one.